Hey, what's up, guys? Thought I'd take you along for a walk. It is pushing 50 degrees now outside of Chicago, and the sun's out. You can hear water running everywhere. Everything is starting to thaw. It's a beautiful sound. I hear a couple birds chirping. I think uh, we might have gotten through the worst of it. Hope for the best, expect the worst. Sorry if that was choppy. I think I was actually accidentally on my Wi-Fi as I was leaving the house. But feeling good as far as uh, how last night went. It was, it was pretty rough. Um, got out, I went to sleep at like one in the morning. Woke up at two. Um, ever ever since I went through a, a withdrawal of a substance called TNFTN, which they call it, they call it the crack of opiates. It's an awful substance. But ever since I went through that withdrawal a few years ago, I I don't get restless legs as much anymore. I get restless arms, and that was the hardest part. I kept getting this this like wave of like energy going across my chest and going to my arms, and it's one of those things where it's like you feel like you could just like flex and squeeze it out of you, but it just doesn't go away. So at two in the morning, I got up, walked over to my universal weight set, and I just started doing presses like a madman. And in and, and that the pressing motion like worked out exactly where I was getting that uh, that sensation from. Did that for like 15 minutes, sat back down on the couch, and I don't know what happened. 20 minutes later, I was passed out, and uh, kind of was waking up off and on, but basically slept from like 5 a.m. to 10 a.m., which is an absolute miracle. This is usually when the insomnia like really kicks in, and, and, and I've had quits in the past of uh, you know being basically up from day two to day four, just not sleeping at all. So this has been pretty good so far. So you just like look at this like lovely scene. A beautiful day. But I mean, just to make clear, I mean, in, in my story, I'll kind of I'll, I'll kind of tell it as I go kind of weave it into some of these videos but you know if anybody's thinking like I'm making a big deal about crad and withdrawal I've uh I mean I've I've detoxed off of every possible opiate besides heroin I've done every uh opiate besides heroin and I, I've always stayed away from heroin, heroin because I knew I would die I mean I just have such a uh had such an obsession with uh, that feeling that I knew I would have killed myself especially now with the fentanyl and all that but but I was that guy that would you know after work uh, go pick up 60 of the the perk 20s and those wouldn't last the weekend I mean I was that guy I've abused everything you can possibly abuse got into uh, you know uh, well I don't know if I want to say that but a lot of illegal stuff you know some of the speed stuff and then uh, got into muscle relaxers with syringes and all this kind of shit but you know just been through it all I'm a poly addict that's where uh you know, uh, people like to obsess about the drugs, and they they kind of make it about the drugs. But it's for me, it's not it's not at all. I mean, I, I could I would get a, addicted to huffing gasoline if, if someone you know if you caught me in the right mood on the right day. So so by me being surprised that this is going well, it's because this is the first time it's basically ever gone well for me. So like if anybody thinks like you know uh, guys you know, overact and it's just a little bit of crab withdrawal. It's like, well, you never know. And I do think there is something to, to kindling, uh, the kindling effect where like the more and more you go through this, obviously, and the older you get, the harder it gets. You don't bounce back like you used to. And so uh, that's why it's like, man, if, if, if I could just kind of stay this stable and this is the last time I've ever gone through this, go, you know, go, go through this, then like, awesome. I don't know, I feel like something's been removed from me. I understand it's very early, but I feel a little bit of that of that obsession has been taken from me. Like I said last night, the drugs aren't on the table. They weren't on the table last night. They're not on the table today. And when they're not on the table, then you, you lose this. You don't have to deal with the struggle. And I and I haven't been struggling. Just like you know, cold chills, yawns, uh, eyes, you know, weeping like crazy. Um, it's all the standard stuff. And I know, like, usually, you know, day three to day four, that's when it really picks up. So, uh, I'm not counting my chickens before they hatch, but so far, so good. And, uh, 
I don't know. I'm going to walk around here for a little bit, and I'm going to jump on the treadmill and spend an hour on there, kind of doing intervals, kind of just, you know, a mix of walking and running. And then, I don't know, play some Switch. Bought the new uh, 3D Mario World with uh, Bowser's Fury, so I'm going to chip away at that. Also bought uh, Little Nightmares 2, which I, I thought it was very funny. I didn't realize until after I bought it that the game just came out, but when uh, the last time I played L Little Nightmares, it was Little Nightmares 1, and that was four or five years ago when I was going through the TNF team withdrawal. And I remember being so sick just playing that game and counting minutes, and so it's just kind of ironic that I'll be playing the second one now with uh, much better circumstances, so it's kind of funny. But, I don't know, hope you guys are uh, having a good day. Hope the sun is shining by you. Hope we're getting up and moving our bodies. And uh, if you guys need anything, leave a comment. I'm here for you, just like you guys have been here for me, and have a great day. I love you.